So apologies, clever me. Uh, never charged my my camera or my power bank. So uh, ran out of battery, but I carried on. And this is my final product for now. Um, I'm really, <laughs> really happy with the result here. Um, like I say, it's the first time I've ever done a juniper. I don't know what, what um, variety or type of juniper this is, like I said previously. But um, honestly, it's probably the most fun I've had with bonsai in a very long time. Um, I spend a good hour and a half now after wiring, placing the branches in all, <laughs> I probably had them in all different directions. Um, you're probably asking yourself what's going on in the top there. Um, <laughs> I'm asking the same question. It's not, I'm not happy with the top there, but the staggering of the branches and starting to create pads I'm happy with I'm happy with that. That came out quite nice, I think. Um, there's there's obviously more growth on top, and I'd like to to have growth on top, and get a you know the ultimate outline of the tree. You know, all all connected with these slight um, uh, uh, deviations between the pads, uh, divisions between the pads that you can just uh, see. Where the pads are but then the outline sort of over there and maybe just the like just start a little bit over there grow it around with a nice outline to a point and then back that way i don't know i'll see how it how it develops but um i i surprised myself i really think i did yeah a good job if I may say so myself. This tree has been standing against the wall in the shade for a long time so obviously no growth on the back side. That looks a little bit strange. Um, I do have a, a after recently um, moving it I, I got some branches in the back so I'm not pruning that. I'll let that grow. I also did quite a bit of pruning. You can see I did a lot of cleaning up um, I hope I didn't take off too much, but um, something just not good on the eye. I'm not so sure about this bend over here. Um, I could I could bring it in a little bit. I'll play around with it, but more or less, I went in for these pads. I'll just show you what I've done. I've wired every branch, not the neatest uh, wiring jobs, but um, I get the job done. A little bit rough around the edges, very rough around the edges, but um, yeah, I'll give you a shot from the back. So obviously this juniper uh, that I got at this nursery, they didn't know, know what type it was or they didn't have it marked. Um, so I just bought it, I paid like 30 Rand for it. So it was basically free, but like I said, it was a straight up stick and um, now it's in its fourth year that I've had it. I've I've never pruned anything on it. I just wired it once to put that bend in, like I said. Um, and and now it's it's actually really really nice. I'll keep it in this bag. Maybe I'll do a repot now in spring. Um, I'll definitely do a repot in spring with fresh soil. I think the soil in here is quite a, 
organic black soil. And then I ended up taking the, that upper guy wire away and I just put one over here that pulled it in this way. So that's the final product for now and um, I'll put it out in the sun, keep it wet and let it grow. Um, yeah, what I wanted to say was I don't think it's a really a popular juniper for, for bonsai because of the long uh, leggy, leggy leaves that it's got. Um, I don't know, I might be wrong, but the junipers I've seen, they go in for something that's uh, more compact growing, you know, not this like, maybe it's leggy like this because I had it in shade, I don't know, I'm not sure. But I like it for what it is now. And um, we'll see what it does in the future. Thank you for watching. And um, I'll do updates on this tree in the future.